boys and girls, we're back. Uh, as you uh, can see, uh, I've done some work on the, on the little laptop. Uh, I've uh, made some, uh, uh, I, I uh, changed uh, the, some of the configs for the, uh, for the, for the, the, the corn shell. That is default on, in OpenBSD, as you can see. And I installed a few other things. Um, Namely, uh, uh, HTOP. Uh, as you can see, it's running stuff. Uh, I also I will also show you how to uh, how to configure this. Um, and I might, uh, I also uh, made, a, made a configuration for Tmux. Uh, the, the, I will also install another terminal. Uh, I'm thinking about either Kitty or Alacrity. Probably, probably Alacrity, because it handles transparency a bit better on OpenBSD. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a, there's a uh, like the, the XFC terminal is, uh, it's a nice terminal, but it's kind of limited. So, uh, but uh, yeah. Um, all of, uh, let me get my notes. So. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, what I did. Uh, well, as you saw, I did uh, change the, uh, the, 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 the corn shell prompts. I tweaked some stuff in uh, CCTL, some shared memory things. Uh, another one uh, that's uh, good for performance is uh, changing some mount flags in uh, FSTAT. Uh, and uh, yeah, I installed this is NeoVim. I just haven't configured it in, uh, configured it yet. I'm thinking about doing uh, maybe NVChat. I use that on my main box as well. So see how it works on, on OpenBSD. So yeah. Uh, I'll switch to uh, I'll switch to a terminal. Uh, I'll switch to uh, I'll switch to a terminal. Uh, so you can uh, have a better view of what's going on. Um, here we go. Uh, let's. Uh, Let's reset this. I have uh, this uh, this other. If you look at one of my older videos, or maybe I uploaded that on uh, on Odyssey and Rumble, but uh, I have this DWM theme that changes the colors based on the background. So I might get into that. Maybe trying to get try to get uh, try to get that to work on OpenBSD as well, which is kind of involved because it involves. Uh, 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 using Pywall and maybe, and I probably have to patch it a little bit. So yeah, this is the case H prompt. I will just walk you through what I did to get this to work. This will not work out of the box. You have to change something in. Uh, in here. Uh, no, I mean in the dot profile. So, um, uh, it's this, if uh, this, uh, this env is uh, set, it will source the .kshrc. Um, yeah, so the next time, if you, so you put that in your .profile, which gets sourced by accession, then it's for your whole session. And then if you start a new shell, like for instance with Tmux, it will load your KSHRC, which is not really that special. Oh, I have muscle memory. It's uh, basically this. Uh, SSH agent for uh, GPG stuff. Also for SSH keys. Um, and then uh, if it's interactive, it will source these three things. So we'll go to dot config ksh uh, agents uh, 
uh, I might, uh, this doesn't work, I'm going to take that out. Going to that. Uh, this one is interesting. This, I stole this from someone. Uh, basically this defines all, all kinds of colors and uh, with all the escape, uh, escape sequences and stuff. So you don't have the, the escape sequences, but you see colors. And then the prompt uh, uses this. And then... As you see, uh, user color, color off, etc., etc. Yeah, this looks at the UID. If you're root, then it becomes red. If you're a normal user, it's blue. If it's something else, it's yellow. And then uh, system, and then it puts it all together. And PS1 and PS2, and then you get your nice little prompt. Very nice. Uh, I also, um, uh, oh yeah, the FS step. I'm gonna do. I'm going to need to, need to be a root for this. Um, basically, I added uh, uh, soft tab and no time to everything. Um, basically, what this does, it uh, when you do no time, it doesn't. When you, for instance, uh, open a file, it doesn't update the access time. Um, this could affect backups. Uh, or if you really want to know when the time, when when a file was last accessed or touched, uh, no, touch uh, touch mod uh, uh, modifies the modification time. But when it was far last scanned or opened, that's the access time. Uh, it's uh, it's a bit of a performance hog because you know it's like a desktop environment will open a lot of files, so lots of access times will be updated, which generates I/O. So if you can avoid that, then uh, yeah, then uh, and that soft dep soft dep is uh, soft depends. Uh, there's a main page about that. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, is there options? It is FFS. No, I cannot find. Well, anyway, it's it's a performance thing. It also uh, it also makes uh, file system checks a lot shorter because, and also it it uh, it will save you in a crash because uh, you cannot with uh, with uh, soft depends you cannot write like corrupted files. Either the file is completely written. And, and, and completely written, or it isn't. So that uh, that uh, that will stop some corruption. It's not journaling; it's just soft 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 depends. Uh, FreeBSD has them as well. So yeah, uh, okay. Then uh, another thing I did, uh, which is uh, uh, I got a comment from. Uh, I am opening two places. <laughs> Let me get the laptop screen. Let's wake up. Yeah. Um, Syspatch. Uh, 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 Light, Light Mint 09. Uh, actually uh, uh, gave me a bit of an idea on how you can automate Syspatch. So it will do it unattended. And will send you mail when uh, you know when uh, uh, when output happens. So I did a, a bit of a. Uh, uh, you can actually use the standard normal tools that uh, that, that are in the on the uh, on the machine. Um, let's go back to the shell. So. Basically, what you do. Is you set uh, you set uh, you set a smart host, and in my case it's this. 
and you make a table here. And a table looks a bit like uh, the user. So then, and then some white space, then the user for the remote side, if it's if, if it uh, uses authentication, and then a password. So uh, what happens is, uh, I'm not going to show that file, of course, because my password is in there, so I'm not going to show you. So what happens then, if I, if I uh, test, uh, let's see, mail, uh, uh, this is my test, say hi. So if I now look at the mail log, mail log here. Um, so right here, it starts connecting. It starts uh, connecting. It authenticates. It sends the mail, and uh, it is uh, accepted. So uh, yeah. So basically. It also, also probably works as root, but what you can do is uh, you, you can uh, you can uh, make a cron tab. Let's make it as root because sysplus needs to run as root. So, construct my contra, con, cron tab minus e. And of course, it already gives you uh, an explanation how to do things. So basically, let's do it on uh, midnight every night. So it's uh, minute zero, hour zero, uh, every day, every month, every weekday, and then uh, sys patch. And basically, because if there's no output, it won't send any mail. Um, and if it does have output, it will send you it will send you mail. And uh, uh, yeah, so if you do this, now it's running the content. But there's an also another way. Uh, it's called add. And basically you can, uh, with add, is uh, actually with cron, you do stuff on a regular basis. You say it like every every time, every certain time, do this. Or every, every five minutes, do something. And uh, uh, with, uh, with add, you can say, uh, okay, in, on, on, on this date, do this only once. So that's also something uh, to, to play around with. So uh, I can, uh, yeah, I, I could demonstrate it, but uh, well, there's the menu page. You uh, basically uh, uh, you do mi minus t, uh, you, do the, you give it a, a, a time spec. And then you give it you give it a command. So there's probably examples. It's usually at the at the bottom. No examples? Usually has examples. Hmm. I will uh, add uh, to mess with the time spec, but uh, I don't want to get into that. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, okay, that's what I uh, actually wanted to cover today. So uh, you can set up uh, you can set up mail like that. Uh, as for the corn shell config, when I'm uh, more happy with it, then uh, I'll I'll put it on uh, on a Git repository somewhere, so you, where you can uh, you know. Oh, Tmux. Uh, OpenBSD comes with uh, Tmux. And uh, Tmux, by default, it looks a bit ugly and is a bit uh, weird. Uh, but, of course, you can change it. So, uh, what, I, uh, what I did when I went to run Tmux. Oh, uh, am I? 
Oh, I am I am in Tmux. Uh, uh, anything really? I, I cannot type. No, Tmux.com. So I've I've got some stuff in here. Um, so basically, uh, uh, some uh, some. Uh, uh, I'll just go through the option. This enables 24-bit color in your terminal. Uh, this makes this. Uh, if I create a new session, we do Alt Shift uh, 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 Alt Shift H and L like Vinci's. I can uh, switch uh, windows. Also have the window starting with one instead of zero. And I change the, the control B, I change to control A. Uh, splitting windows, it's now uh, control A and then like this. Or like this. Now you can like, uh, but you can also use sim keys to like control L. Uh, uh, oh, I'm in, um, uh, that's the thing. Uh, new film, uh, the, the, uh, new film has a has a has a plugin that uh, makes it respond to those uh, to those keys. Uh, that's the Vim Tmux Navigator plugin. Uh, I enabled uh, I enabled mouse mode. I uh, set a bigger history, uh, but uh, and I, I changed something with uh, with uh, with copy and paste. And this one doesn't work for some reason. The this one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, I use TPM, and a TPM uh, you can um, write it in my history. No. Uh, Uh, so yeah, um, basically, uh, let me get rid of these. Um, there are plugins here. Oh, uh, get them out. So basically, you check out this into this this folder, and then in uh, in, uh, in uh, basically you put your plugins uh, like so. So basically, these are on GitHub, and then you do this the last one, uh, and then it will. Uh, uh, it will uh, uh, well download the plugins and uh, and install them and basically you do you can refresh them with a prefix and then i and then it will reload and then uh, you will have this uh, this uh, this uh, theme right here um, I was an error up uh, Doesn't do that. Oh. <laughs> um. Right. Um. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, this is part of the uh, Team Pack plugins, uh, and which uh, makes this uh, just prefix uh, prefix uh, GitHub.com uh, before these. And then you'll get to the to the GitHub pages. So yeah, that's the Tmux config. I will put all this uh, when when I'm uh, when I'm happy with uh, the corn shell, how it is, uh, and um, uh, when I'm uh, uh, happy with uh, the Tmux setup. And uh, I will go. To, I will put it in a repository. Also, next time, next video, I'm gonna do uh, the NVChat config uh, for NeoVim. And I'll do that from scratch. Right now, I just have play NVIM. 
uh, with no uh, with no, uh, no configuration whatsoever. So uh, and uh, yeah, that's not really to my liking. But hey, I'll use it for now. Uh, I will save the configging of uh, NeoVim for you guys. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, OpenVPN. <laughs> Jesus, I'm a scatterbrain today. OpenVPN, how that works? Well, um, basically, uh, let's become root again. What you do, I made a directory called uh, OpenVPN. And uh, th th that's the place where I work. So, uh, um, Basically, these are two config files that have like the, the OpenVPN config and the authentication, of which I'm not going to show you. But what, it, what I can show you is this. Uh, because FreeBSD, of, uh, FreeBSD, OpenBSD uh, uses like the etc hostname dot interface to in configure its, uh, its, uh, its uh, well, its, uh, uh, its interfaces. So when you uh, when you when you uh, want to change something, you, so like an IP uh, IP number or something like that, well, uh, uh, nvim nvim r zero. So yeah, this is what I did. This is what the installer put here. So this basically means uh, DHCP for everything. I don't need to write that. But for the VPN, which is a, a, a tunnel, a, a, a zero, a ton zero interface, basically I, I, I pull it up and I run this. It uses that config. And um, uh, yeah, how can I show you this? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, Let's open, uh, let's open the scratch thing. And I can show you if I just open another terminal. put this line in your OpenVPN config in your so basically this is the this is what like your thing is and basically the format is like user uh, like uh, by itself so after so like this is the start of the file and then it's like username and then the password that's uh, and that's it so also, if you look at the at the at the at the, uh, the rights, this is mode six hundred, or uh, only I can read it, and the uh, OpenVPN, which is uh, running as a root, I think, and uh, and uh, and uh, the other config is just world readable. So yeah, that's the VPN stuff, uh, and I think uh, this is another short one. I uh, hope you found this informative. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to come with another video soon. Take care. Bye bye.